This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Now when the Queen got sick over uh, all, all, more than a year ago, um, one of the things I was in the middle of trying to accomplish was a game that I absolutely adored that I wanted to get to the table and I could not get to the table. Uh, and that is Witchborn, okay? And all I can tell you is Corey, who put this together and owns the company and owns everything about it, this is an amazing, an amazing, amazing game. I never got to do and give it the treat it, uh, treatment that it deserved. And of course I got busy with other things and completely forgot it. And for that, um, it has absolutely drove me madness every time I walk by and I see um, that box. So what I plan on doing in the next 10 days is actually showing you how fantastic this game is. So we're going to revisit it. We're going to, I, I'm not even going to even scratch the surface of the rules. I just kind of want to show you some of the miniatures, talk how it works a little bit, the particular map, enter the perdition. I have all the other maps. Um, I'm, I'm in the middle of just getting these, these paladins out and getting them ready and all the denzins, uh, uh, taken care of and we are going to play this live and taped and I'm very excited about it because I really love this game uh, I, I really want to really promote it he has a Kickstarter coming out very soon uh, and also he is going to be at Adepticon I believe uh, by the time this airs I think it, uh, uh, Adepticon will be going on this is a fantastic game, and let's go down to the table, take a look at the, the tremendously high quality and, and, and beautiful and huge map. Now, let's I go. can barely, barely fit this map into frame here. And I've only had it out for a few minutes, and it's been rolled up for a while. Um, and it, it almost flattens itself, believe it or not. And I really don't have to put anything out there. Um, you're going to have these different clans here, okay? And as you can see, I've already painted the Dwarven clan, okay? And this is going to be your war band, and you're going to assemble them. On the other side, I know, don't kill me, they're not painted yet, but they will be painted, is the Paladins, which, of course, I'm going to be. Now, I want to show you a couple things about, about this whole... Um, and I know the camera's going to move because the only way I can do this is actually physically move this camera. There's numbers all over the place here. And there's going to be certain areas that you're going to be able to set up. And if you notice here, there's a one. So you're going to roll on a six-sided die and decide where you're going to set up your war band. Okay? Everything is measured in inches. Okay? So basically, you have this very cool ruler that is going to bend and so forth and so on. The next thing that you're going to do, and, and considering this one, this this one circles around this sh uh, airship that has crashed. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll on two to D6, and if you notice, there are some very small numbers here. And they go all the way up to 66. You're going to roll and you're going to be placing these markers, okay? And you're going to want to claim these uh, each warband is going to try to claim, the, claim these, and they are going to do different things. Uh, once you claim them, you're going to go on the app, and you're going to pull down what happens. Um, the main thing is to go through the whole story. And as things happen, as you shoot and do criticals and cause different things to happen to you, or you do an oops, you're going to use the app, and I'm going to show the app in a minute. Um, all the miniatures are done by bones. This is a, 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 a tremendous game because the story behind it, it's almost like a role-playing type of, 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 of miniature war game. <laughs> you know, you have your clan, but there's so much role-playing. The Witchborn here, these are just evil demons. If your guys die, there's a chance that they become Witchborn. Uh, another thing I want to show you is you look at these dice and you think, oh, more dice to roll. No, these actually mark your character with certain uh, things that can happen to them. 
Um, for instance, um, you could be staggered. If you get a couple staggers, that could cause you to actually go off the board. And the whole idea is to try to keep your warband together and, and complete each objective that you can, you can get to. And then, uh, of course, get the treasure on this particular map there there are a number of different maps and they just come with un, the unbelievable story that you can have and there's a whole campaign set you have you get a set of quick start rules which work very well and um uh, a, a real big thing that i want to make sure that I, I point out is if you see these stones here you see like these stones these are actually considered to be standing up so say that there is someone there and you want to shoot at that particular person like that well you can't because they're behind the stones there are going to be different maps with walls and doors and castles and all these things that they're that going to get in the way there's water that that can affect things and and everybody's racing to try to get all these so you can get the treasure and find out exactly what happened in this particular story of course there are some awesome rules with this as well which i'm going to show you in a second now another neat aspect is how you activate your guys and I'm going to show you right here. We're just going to, yes, they're unpainted again. I don't know how many times you have to say. You're going to have in here some cubes that you're going to be able to pick. And depending on how many, how many guys you have, you're going to have a cube for each guy. It's going to go into here. And you're going to pull out this uh, cube. Well, this means that he can activate one of his people on this side. So he would do all his activation and movement, depending on their stats, and measure it out and move. And then he would pull, well, another one. And, well, now they would get to go on that side. So you would always keep the cube with them just to let uh, let you know that where, you, where you're at. And you will move and fight or whatever actions you have. There are a ton of different steps that go into this. There is, I believe it's called after fight or, 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 or last, uh, last standing or something like that, um, that you're going to get an additional action at the very end, depending on how you perform. But all these cubes in here, you would go into all the cubes. And then of course you would round up the cubes and start another round after a little cleanup. Um, particularly checking if you landed on any of the markers or any any uh, critical wounds and so forth and so on now one of the things I want to show you guys is um, and hopefully I'll just put this up and take the glare out there we go is combat uh, combat are done with the combat dice here as you can see and if you look here whether it's a melee or missile, there are certain things that are going to happen. If you're going to get this symbol, which I'm going to show you right here, basic six-sided die, this symbol is a critical. You, you basically nailed your opponent no matter what the distance is. Okay. This other symbol here is a shield hit. Now, if you don't have the shield ability, it considers just a hit. But if you have the shield, it is not going to um it's not going to hit and they're going to block it then on the other side here we have the fend ability okay this is a parry hit um slams off hand side of the opponent's body he hits without parry or fend skill to block it so if he has parry or fend it's going to hit him uh, not hit him and of course uh, anytime that you take a test or anything like that and you roll a critical, well, that is going to be considered a oops. And this side is a complete miss. We'll show you the app in a second. They're going to, you're going to be able to have a certain amount of, uh, at point blank range, you're going to be able to roll three die, of course, depending on all the modifiers that are going to come in short range two, long and extra long all that is you're always going to roll at least one die but this is what you're going to need you're going to need to roll a critical if you roll one of these other hits here uh anything in long or very long or extra long well guess what it's not going to count unless you roll a critical so you, basically what it's saying is you're going to have to roll a six every single time um comes with a beautiful campaign book i mean look at this thing this thing is just ridiculous 
and it's just covering it, it gives you everything that you need and there are just tons and tons of things of how you can go about um, uh, applying uh, all this into a campaign setting which I'm very excited to do because we do have our one side painted up and we are going to be painting up our paladins and playing this through the app itself is pretty amazing as uh, you just give me a second here okay here we go and if you're gonna look here you're gonna see if if you take a wound well guess what you're going to draw one of these cards if you pull an oops you're going to grab one of these cards let's hit and start a new game yeah let's start a new game so say you grab one of these these tokens here and you're 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 uh, hero is one of your heroes or one of your warband is on there you are going to draw the card and it's going to tell you exactly what you're going to need to do and you're going to have to make some choices here now of course your opponent would read this and um what i would do is before i read the g the the gm notes usually i would just roll a bottle or make a decision after hearing the story and then read what happens if i'm going to do it by myself if you get an oops well oops is right so say you took a missile oops well there's all kinds of results with this this replaces cards basically and and does a great job of it in here we have uh exactly everything um ba -ba 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 -ba. yes oh wounds there we go now wounds you can draw you draw a wound card say you take a, a wound uh, this is the result that will happen there is one that yeah you're knocked out and you're gone or maimed uh killed you can actually get killed right <laughs> when you draw a wound card so there's a lot of bad things that can happen to you with the app and the app replaces cards and i think that's just absolutely fantastic the miniatures and some of the denzen that you're going to run into um as you can see here there is press gang there's orc searchers you're going to run into the nari mare and the dire wolves and some creepy crawlies and some skellies as well you're going to want to have all these around because these are guys that get turned on you and they will attack you and believe me they are going to be a higher level than you the main point is is guess what these are our bones miniatures so you know that you're getting some beautiful quality stuff i mean take a look at this this ranger she is just absolutely fantastic and uh we're going to actually paint that up very quickly and i'm very excited about that and so i wanted to give you a little background because we are going to be putting some time into this um this is something that i'm really excited about we have five or six different maps we've got all the apps do downloaded and i'm looking forward to all the new stuff that is coming up but let's go up top and get my final thoughts on enter perdition the witchborn again i didn't even scratch the service and i think i got uh, a couple things I, I mixed up in my head i couldn't find find a name for actually and um the thing is is that it plays so the combat system is so simple but the story that is told by the app you never know what's going to happen you could play that same mission uh five times and never play the mission the same way and that's part of the beauty of this game the campaign aspects how smoothly it works we didn't even scratch that we didn't get even show you the 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 um the books for each faction or warband. We're going to show you, we're going to get these paladins painted up. They're going to be taped and you're going to see it painted. Once they're painted, we're going to get this and we are going to go over every aspect of the rules and make sure that you understand. Listen, you can find this, okay, number one, at Witchborn. Uh, if you just look up at Google Witchborn, uh, Enter Perdition. It'll take you to his website. You can buy this from him whenever you want. This is a fantastic game, and I highly, highly suggest it. The miniatures are through the roof. You can use any miniatures you want on top of it, but those bone miniatures really make it sell. And uh, I'm telling you right now, you would not be disappointed if you went and picked this up and you followed along as we go. So, until next time, we are making all our wrongs right. That's what we do here. 
and we're going to be ready to really make this game shine and i can't wait uh look for it very very soon until next time it's your old pal ron we'll see you soon